Hello everybody and welcome to today's video from Nick Taylor Plumbing Limited. Today we're going to discuss about airlocks, dreaded airlocks in your central heating system and how to get them out. So what is an airlock? What are they in your central heating system? So it's a brief diagram here, which I'll come on to in a moment. So obviously your boiler, you've got your flow and your return pipe work and you've got your radiators. So let's say we've got an airlock, say for this radiator. So the air is trapped there in one place. So what that is, let's just make this pipe work bigger. So that is a piece of pipe. This is a piece of air stuck in there. And obviously you've got your water here and your water there. But your hot water can't circulate. It can't get past that because the air's in the way. On a pressurized system, the pressure is coming from all angles. So it's on this way, and this way. Even though we want the water to go that way, because it's pressurized, it's pressured from everywhere. So we need to dislodge that piece, that piece of air. And the best way to do that is like this. So our airlock is stuck here. On the flow pipe works that radiator. So that radiator is not getting hot. We've checked the valves to make sure um, they're on, so it's not something simple like that. Luckily, We've got a little drain off valve here and we connect our hose to it, run that outside or to the drain to a safe place. We just open it up a little bit and what that'll do is it will release the pressure off this side of the pipe where the drain off is and you only really need a little bit and the pressure will then overpower this way and it will just shove that airlock out. And what will happen is that airlock will then go up into the radiator and leave you one or two things. It will either go float to the top of the radiator or it will go straight through the radiator and out your hose. If, and then obviously once you've done that, turn your drain off off, repressurize your boiler, turn your central heating system on and you should find that solves your problem. Hallelujah. However, if you've not got a drain off, it comes a little bit more tricky. Uh, what a simpler way of doing it would be your little bleed, your little vent here on, the, on your radiator. Just get a little bucket and just open it up. You'll find it spurts out, but catch it in your bucket. Put some towels down if you're if you're a bit nervous about it. It will take longer to do it that way because you need to get you know a bit more water out, and it takes longer to get that water out through this method. But you'll get it, and when you get that air, you'll hear it. It'll heal you'll hear the, the, the air move and then you just turn it off, great, and then you're, you're really, you know, you're happy about it. And there you have it, so thanks for watching this short video on how to uh, get an airlock out of a pressurized system and a bit of science behind it as it were. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video, uh, I hope, hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you soon.